love YouTube. I'm lining back with another video. So today I am installing this wig right now that's on my head. Yes, I installed this by myself. If you want to see how I did this, um, just keep watching. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share my channel. Turn the post notifications on. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, tomorrow I might be doing a get ready with me with Ashlyn. So yeah, look forward to that. And... Yes, yeah, see you guys later on in the video. Okay, so don't mind my head, but we about to get started. So, this is the wig. It's from Amazon. It's an 18-inch wig. Um, I'll put the company on the side. I had the bag they sent me. They sent me this, the bag or whatever. They sent the wig in one. It's a 4x4 four four lace closure wig. Um, it was pre-plugged, but I did my own plucking in the middle because it wasn't plucked enough for me. And the sides were plucked as well. Um, only problem I had with the wig was the flyaway piece at the top, but... I don't have a wax stick, but I just use my color button stick and it pretty much works the same. So I put that at the top to pull those pieces down. Uh, this is my first time doing a lace wig, so I watched a lot of videos and stuff. So I think I kind of got it. But it came with all these like the little makeup brushes and an edge brush. I have a lot of supplies and stuff for me to do this wig, so it's just all in a box. So I didn't have to keep going back to my wig. So, so first I'm going to put this got to be ultra glue styling gel. Um, it's just to pull my edges back. So I went ahead and um, blow dry that down. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some alcohol in a rag or whatever and just wipe my forehead right there so that way I can get the um, any. Um, oils or whatever, cause I put lotion on so to get any oils and stuff out of my hair before I put the glue down yes I did okay. so I'm going to take this off the mannequin and put it on my head and go ahead and push, pull it back well put it in place and also pull it back so I'm going to put it all in. Um, I already got it adjusted to the straps I need to do Here's the way without anything done to it. I already put my foundation on it. I'm gonna show y'all. I had went to the store and originally get my own foundation. It was a fit me foundation as well, but it was lighter shade. And then my mama had one from Dollar General that was way too light for her. And it was three shades light. The one with the short wig, I had purchased with this one to see if it was my right color and all. And it was. So this is the one I'm using from Dollar General. It's a 362 truffle. I did not bleach the knots. Uh, foundation so I can just fly. So I'm trying to make sure my part is straight. It's really not moving. So before I pull this up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the side pieces of the lace because people said that these pieces to the lace do not lay down, melt it right. So you cut those off in advance so your wig can melt. <laughs> but you're not gonna see that when I lay my hair down so I'm not gonna worry about that too much next step is to pull this up so so basically now I have to mark out where I want my lace and all that to be when I glue this thing down okay so I have a line on my forehead and you can take that off once you put your glue or however you want to do that so now that I have that I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna take my Evans glue which is the one I'm gonna need for this and I'm gonna put some dots on and spread it up and I'm gonna let it dry clear and, and I'm gonna do two layers of that so I'm gonna let it dry clear two times first one I'm gonna blow dry second one I'm gonna let it air dry <laughs>
dried clear. You might can't see it on the camera, but I can see it in the mirror. And other parts of it are still blue. I think those are where I put too much. So next time it's gonna be like a little thin layer, but I'm about to put another one off. And yeah. drain clear like it's some spots it look clear and other parts it still look kind of blue so i'm gonna just go ahead and place it down because i don't have the patience to do this right now so i'm gonna go ahead and um lay it down and then put my bandana on top after i try to melt it in with my comb <music> Then put my bandana on it and blow dry it some more. So I blow dried it a little bit. I really do not have patience with this wig because I like stuff that I can see the progress really quick. I will not be buying this glue again. This Evans one. It holds good, I guess, but it dries like it takes a long time to dry. And some parts are still blue. So, yeah, I'm gonna make it work though. But I just want it to be, I really wish it just dried clear like the rest of the glues. Some of the lace is still gonna be on this wig for sure because I could definitely tell, but I'm gonna just work with whatever. So I'm gonna tie this part down like this. And once I tie this down, I'm gonna blow dry it until I feel like it's ready. No, I'm gonna got to be a first thing cut the lace. Take it off and see how it is. I doubt it's all the way dry. I just got a few in this jump plane. Okay. Ooh, my lace look crusty. But we're gonna get by it. It look real, real crusty, but um this glue is really hard. Mm -hmm. I know how to fix it too. I can see it's crusty, so I'm gonna try to melt it with some got to be. She got new and wigs, well, this is my real hair. Why is she lying? She did her wig yesterday. So I got my got to be free spray. I'm gonna spray it on my edge line with a hair rat. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. Very got to be. It's heavy too. I had to go through. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some got to be. Use the middle part. Cause you put glue on the phone, and we don't start getting hard. I'm removing the extra glue right here, and all that where my line at, and then I'm gonna take this off. Might add a little more foundation on top of this to get to blend more. Cause next time I do this lace, I'll cut all of the extra lace off. But some of the extra lace is seeped into my skin already. So yeah, I just use that to pull it back and line out where I need to do. Get my hey guys, so I took some of my foundation and put it on there. You can still see the lace, yes, I know. But guess what? I'm about to put some stuff on it. So I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm pull my hair. Just comb this down. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not um thinking it right now. And then I'm just trying to show like, what's going to be showing and what's going to be not. Wow, that's showing a lot. Man. Come on. Let me see. As you can see, you can't really, really see it. Like, you can see it, but yeah. Y'all, I don't like it, but. Ooh, my forehead is I'm going to crimp it. And stuff and I'm definitely doing edges to cover this so I'm gonna do like an edge here edge there edge there 
like a like two. I don't know how I'm gonna do my edges, but I'm doing some, that? something right here. Cause that's lace and it didn't rip off the way I needed it to. This how I look from far away. My, my I don't like how I look without my glasses. Like. I have earpieces, but I'm gonna leave them cause they're not bugging me. Okay, so I took my edges out and I cut them already. This side I think is a bit longer. I'm gonna cut some of the pieces. Oh, you can put some lotion right there too. Goodbye. I, I promise you, that's no. Uh, I use this castor oil. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and oil my hair in the morning. So I'll okay, I'll do it edges. I'm gonna put soup one in front, and then I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just like soup. Um, I got my flat iron to curl my edges because they say they thing better. I'm about to. Two thousand nineteen. Boy, bye. No. Yeah, I'm young. All the I'll do first a pink one. Oh my God, you about to fuck me up. Oh my God, you about to fuck me up. Oh Every month. They be really dry. Yeah. I'm gonna get some good grease. You know? I'm just. We ain't got brush. no good grease. No, I just mean I'm gonna get grease with a brush. Yeah. I'll be well, we just saying he's gonna edit tweaks. But daddy? Yeah. He said next time he might think about his feet. Uh, ah, he didn't kick his ball. His ball is. That is not going to look right. Okay, so I'm about to use this edge thing. Like, okay, I'm going to use this edge thing. to use this edge thing. A lot of people use the comb part um, to do the edges. So I'm going to take this. So I have this small. Oh, who got my headphones? From, I think my mama got it from Dollar General. So you just take this. Your hair mousse and you put it on the edges. It's so they can be mobile and move. Yeah, y'all see I attempt these baby hairs. They look really, really bad. So I am going to just go ahead and crimp my wig and flat iron it and run the hot comb through it and stuff. Because these edges, like, I don't know. I'm going to leave them like this for now. And then when I'm done crimping and stuff, I'll figure out if I want to slick them up or something. Because these, y'all, baby hairs on hair like this is hard. Like, the moves get it to move, but it ain't doing it for me. So, yeah. You can't really see the things, though. The little, the foundation since the baby hairs in the way. They don't look good, but the baby hairs look bad. I'm just doing this. Why you don't use gel? Why you using loose? Cause you're supposed to use mousse. If you use gel, it's gonna get stiff, and they all gonna stick together like one. So it doesn't help. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run the hot comb, my cocoa butter stick, and all that good. But first, I'm gonna run the flat iron through it first to get that uh, smooth look I need mean before. I so yeah, I'm about to just run the flat iron through my hair to make the roots like just Oh my 
about to start. Let's see if this works. I'm not done, but this is the straight side and this is the crimp side. I'm gonna decide to do straight because the kind of like I like the crimp side, but it's like you have to give it like a lot of got to be and it's gonna be still. And I like this side because it moves and it's just I just feel like it'd be tiny. So I'm doing this side. I mean, I'm doing I'm gonna redo it like this and then that's just gonna be the end of my hair. So see y'all, yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I'm done. Um, it's still a little weird feeling on this side, a little bit, just a little crunchy at the top. Cause um, my mama had tried to crimp it and she got little crimps in it. But I got it out the best way I could. So this is the final look. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel, turn on post notifications on. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. Um, I think I did good for my first time. You can see how the lace is a little melted. You can't really see unless you're real close. But it's melted and it's not giving a scalp, but it's giving something. The edges are a little eat because I don't know how to do edges. This is my back to school hairstyle. So see you guys on the next video.